Hey friends, welcome back to Heartscapes, where we practice and learn the system of Reiki at the intersection of self-reflection, the origins of this spiritual system, and social action. My name is Michaela, and I'm really glad that you're here with me today. If you've uh, been with my channel for a little while, you might notice I'm in a different space right now, uh, and that's because the main studio upstairs has some interesting magic afoot going on up there. But that's not why we're here today. Today, I want to invite you all to join me on a bit of a journey that's a little different than what we've done here before. I want to invite you into a series of practices that we do here at Heartscapes uh, virtually every seasonal cycle. So for the 21 days leading up to each equinox and solstice, we engage in a daily practice that is drawn from the origins of the system of Reiki and that interacts in some way with something that's alive in the world around us today, some particular um, need that's presenting itself in the world or something of interest that the participants bring to the space. For example, we've explored the connections between the Shinto origins of Reiki and their deep rooted connection to nature and the, the modern need that we have to reconnect with nature because of the deficit that we experience between our lives um, in cities and nature. We've worked with a lot of different aspects of the Japanese origins. And for this cycle, as we move into spring of 2022, which is 21 days from today, we wanted to explore a creative practice. We wanted to engage with some of the artistic connections within the lineage of Reiki and to connect that with the energy of spring, of creativity, of new life and new birth coming forward during this season. And so we're going to dedicate our 21 days of practice to practicing Reiki alongside poetry. I often use poetry in my classes and circles as a way of shifting our mind and our heart um, out of the day to day and into a, a bit of a more liminal and creative space. And it's a practice that I really, really love. And so it felt natural to bring that more explicitly into our practice of Reiki. And we decided that this would be a really great topic to share here on the YouTube channel rather than just within a closed group of folks. And so while I'll be sharing these practices alongside poetry here on the YouTube channel every day, I also invite you to engage with us. And this can look a couple of different ways. I'm actually going to be inviting some folks to come on and join me to share their favorite poem and to engage that poem through the practice of Reiki based meditation. If you would like to join me in this space and share one of your favorite poems, I really welcome you to reach out to me either in the comments below or uh, to my email, which I'll put down in the show notes. Additionally, I'm going to invite you to engage these practices along with us. And for each one of them, I'm going to invite you to notice the aspects of the poem that stand out to you. It might be particular words or phrases particular images or ideas that the images bring to your mind and to share those with us in the comments below. At the end of this 21 day cycle on the first day of spring on the spring equinox, I'm going to do something, uh, hopefully some, something pretty special with that collection of reflections from you. So the more engagement, the more, um, you choose to share what comes up for you in these practices, the more rich that closing circle will be. In whatever way you choose to engage us, even if it's simply to watch a couple of these videos and you know, turn your mind towards what happens when we engage our spiritual practice alongside poetry, alongside art, alongside creative practice, or if you choose to engage us more directly here in this space, I'm really glad you're here and I hope that you get something really fulfilling out of your time. So I'd like for us to begin today with just a real simple taste of what this will look like. Each of these videos will be somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes and will be a combination 
of um, practice and in some cases, not in every video, but in some cases, um, a little bit of teaching about some of the ways in which this practice connects with the origins of Reiki. We'll be learning about waka poetry, which was a form of contemplative poems that was um, very popular during the time of the creation of Reiki, something that our founder Mikao Usui uh, drew on in his practice. And we'll be learning a little bit more about that historic time, as well as engaging with the idea of uh, how does poetry and spiritual practice interact in general. And then we'll be using throughout this time a particular breathing meditation practice that is the foundational practice for the system of Reiki called Joshin Kokyoho, a method to focus the mind. And this is a practice that invites us to call our attention inward, to rest our attention in our center at the low belly and to engage with the web of life from this place, to engage with the part of ourself that is connected with life. When we do this, some really interesting things can happen in terms of our insight, our awareness, and how we feel in our body. So we're going to start today with um, a guided practice of that uh, breathing practice. And I'm going to share with you um, a poem that I recently discovered and that I just loved and that feels really connected in some ways I haven't quite even fully come to understand with the system of Reiki. The poem comes from this book, The Sound of a Collective Pulse by Christina Norcross. And this particular collection of poems, um, it, feels, it feels very special and poignant to us in this moment because Christina Norcross wrote all of these poems during 2022 in direct response to what she and her community and the world were experiencing in the height of the coronavirus pandemic. And so these are poems about connection and loneliness, about isolation and love, about fear and overcoming that fear, about focusing our attention on what's most important in our lives when so much of our day-to-day -day routines and um, practices and the things that kind of make our lives what they tend to be are taken away. It's an exquisite collection of poems and I really recommend that you check it out. And today for our first dip into this springtime collaboration between Reiki and poetry, we'll be looking at a poem called Naked Selves. And so with that, I'm going to invite you to settle yourself in to join me for some practice. So we begin with the posture of our bodies. And the posture for a practice like this is one that allows our body to feel upright and supported, allowing the structure of our body to hold us upright the way that it's designed, to allow the chair or the structure that we're sitting on to hold us so that we can relax the muscles of our body. So we want the skeleton and the support of our chair to hold us nice and upright so that we can then relax that efforting, that tightness of the muscles that we often subconsciously engage. So just invite you to take a couple of moments to adjust your body into a position that feels supported, that feels upright. To take a couple of breaths and intentionally relax the muscles, particularly of the belly, of the shoulders, of the jaw. Allow the firmness of your skeleton and of the support you're sitting on to allow for flexibility and softness in your muscles. And really taking a couple of breaths to invite the release of the muscles of the belly, which we so often hold tight. We so often grip in a shield across the vulnerable front of our body. We're taught to suck in our tummies and keep them tight. And so it can take a little bit of effort or at least a little bit of attention, I should say, to intentionally relax the belly. bringing our body into a posture for practice. And 
and the breath supports this posture. The posture of our breath is one of even flow. The inhale gently entering the body, the muscles of the belly soft and expansive so that the breath can move in and down low in the body. If we're accustomed to breathing high in the chest, as we sometimes are, it can take a few breaths of intending to allow the breath to move lower in the body, in and down. Allowing the belly to expand with the inhale and gently contract with the exhale. allowing the belly to fill with the breath before the chest, the way that we breathed when we were a baby, the belly filling from the bottom up, and then with this posture of the breath, we can bring our attention to the posture of our mind the mind following the breath, resting our attention on the movement of the breath in and down, allowing the sensation of the breath to call our attention in from all of the many places where our mind has wandered today, all of the many places we have been required to focus our attention, letting the sensation of the breath call the attention in and down, drawing the mind into the low belly. And practice this for a few rounds of breath. See if you can rest your attention, literally focus your mind on the sensation of the low belly, the space in your body that is just below the belly button and deep into the center of the body. The energy center known in Japanese as the hara the physical center of the body and the energetic center of the body. The energy center near the root of our body that is connected to the earth below. And when we bring our attention here, experience a sense of grounding, a sense of stabilizing, of rootedness, a sense of calm, of being resourced, of being held. So I'm going to invite you for the next round of breath, for the next few rounds, to practice bringing your attention in and down, following the breath into the relaxed belly and resting your attention in the hara, in the low belly. Let's just practice that together for a few rounds of breath. And as you continue to breathe in this way, following the breath with your mind into the low belly, I invite you to sense or imagine 
that here at the center of your hara, the center of your low belly, there is a spark of light, a pinprick of light that draws your attention, that draws your breath into it. This spark of life. that shines here in your center at all times. The spark of the universe that exists at your center as the universe lives itself as you in this lifetime. Begin to sense or imagine this spark of light, this spark of your true self, your point of connection to the web of life. And as you follow your breath in and down, rest your attention on this spark. And as you continue to breathe, as you continue to rest your attention on this spark of light at your center, begin to sense or imagine that with your inhale, this spark begins to grow brighter. It begins to expand in all directions. It begins to fill you with light and surround you as you exhale. And so as you inhale with each breath, follow your attention in and down, connect with the spark of light at your center. It grows brighter, it begins to expand. And as you exhale, it expands to fill you and to surround you. And then with the next breath, again, envisioning the spark of light at your center, it grows brighter, it expands as you exhale, it fills you, it surrounds you, it continues to expand as far as you wish to follow it in this time. And we're going to stay with this pattern of breath. As you continue to breathe, envisioning this expansion of your spark of light, I invite you to breathe in these words, Naked Selves by Christina Norcross. Thoughts are bones, long femurs walking us home to the self. Our mouths speak smoke signals. We call out to the universe in earnest. Raindrops fall, tapping us awake. We enter the space of awareness. Words shared are medicine, salve, balm, and bandage. Each vowel rises to the ceiling, then falls. Our minds are porous, drinking in every last nuance, what was once a dream of how life could be becomes embedded in the skin. It sings songs of acceptance. Together, we wonder at our very existence, dancing with our truest naked selves. We are not alone.
And breathing in whatever part of that poem is for you. We're just going to stay with this breath practice for a few moments. And continuing to breathe. As I share this poem for a second time, I invite you to notice the words or images or thoughts that stand out to you, that stay with you. Thoughts are bones, long femurs walking us home to the self. Our mouths speak smoke signals. We call out to the universe in earnest. Raindrops fall, tapping us awake. We enter the space of awareness. Words shared here are medicine, salve, balm, and bandage. Each vowel rises to the ceiling and then falls. Our minds are porous, drinking in every last nuance. What was once a dream of how life could be becomes embedded in the skin. It sings songs of acceptance. Together, we wonder at our very existence, dancing with our truest naked selves. We are not alone. sitting with the resonance of this poem and your breath for a few more cycles. And breathe into your belly three more times, envisioning the spark of light growing brighter at your center and expanding on the exhale to fill you and surround you, to expand the center of you outward. Allowing the sense of yourself to reach out into the web of life, into the currents of life around you and within you. And when you feel complete, giving yourself a gesture of completion and coming back into this space together.
friends, welcome back. I hope that was a good practice for you. It was for me. I hope that there was something for you in this poem by Christina Norcross. And I hope that this practice and this combination of poetry and practice uh, felt nourishing for you. If so, I invite you to join us again. I'll be posting these videos more or less daily, hopefully, uh, between today and March 21st, which is the spring equinox. I invite you to share below in the comments any words or phrases that stood out to you from the poem and or just any reflection from this experience. I'd really love to know how this landed for you. I'd love for this to be an interactive exchange between us. And if you're feeling intrigued or you're feeling brave and you'd like to join me here for one of these sessions and share with us your favorite poem or one that has been particularly meaningful to you, I really welcome you to do that. And you're welcome to reach out to me at any time. And share this video with others who might feel inspired by this practice or this concept of combining meditation, spiritual practice with poetry. That's not only a wonderful way to engage in some interesting conversation with those in your life, but it's also a really wonderful way to support this channel and to support this work by sharing it around, by engaging with it, and by, in some way, bringing it into your life. And whichever way you choose to do that, and wherever your day is going to take you from here, may you be deeply provisioned for that journey. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again. I love you. Goodbye.